Hello, I'm Nicholas from ShowZone, and today we'll be talking about what we can learn from this old device right here, the overhead projector. Perhaps you remember, the overhead projector has been a helpful presenting tool and has lasted well into the digital age. Even with one still standing in a corner in your conference room, I would personally refrain from using it in a business setting. Marshall McLuhan, a communication theorist, famously stated in the 1960s, the medium is the message. The act of using an overhead projector in itself tells something to your audience. For me, the use of the overhead projector would make the presenting feel a bit old-timey. If you still use it, wear a jacket with elbow patches to complete the look. But what can we learn from the overhead projector? What made presenting with an overhead projector great? I really like the reliability and the ease of use of the device. Point at a wall, flip a switch, good to go. Then I like how it feels natural to operate. One can sit and use a marker for more exact drawings than when standing in front of a whiteboard. And the main benefit that I see is that the speaker still faces the audience when using it. The connection isn't lost, no turning one's back. Can we get those benefits with today's tools? Yes! Incorporating a video feed into your presentation is surprisingly simple. All you need is a webcam and a stand, and you're ready to go. Both items can be purchased for cheap or borrowed. There's a conference room across the hall. Let's go set it up. Place the stand over a desk and attach the webcam to point downwards at the table. On your computer, I'll show you how to add the webcam feed on a PowerPoint slide, but there are other options such as Apple QuickTime. Here we have three slides. On the second slide, I would like to have the video. Now in the Insert ribbon of PowerPoint, select Cameo and place it. Then you can select the camera dropdown to use your webcam. The great thing here, like with the overhead projector, is that I can switch to an overhead view yet still keep a connection together with my audience. Quickly making a drawing changes the pace of the presentation a little and brings back the attention of your audience. In summary, this is a fairly simple and cheap way to give your presentations more pizzazz. If you have tried this approach or something similar, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. That's all from me today. Thanks for listening, and may your next presentation be amazing.